All right, game changers, welcome back to another video here today. Now, Modern Warfare 2 added shipment. This is a game mode, um, or this is a map that we have seen so many times before. And honestly, it can be played out if you are not much of a fan of shipment. But everybody knows that shipment is basically a grind for your camos or challenges. And I think the developers know that also. So that's why they include it in every single game now, it seems. Like every single installment that comes out of Call of Duty, it has to have shipment. And I'm not really complaining because shipment can be fun at times. And it definitely is uh, a great way to complete your challenges for camos, guns, whatever. And it's a small map. It's crazy. Sometimes the spawns are insane. Sometimes you spawn in people's buttholes. Like it's, it's, it's absolutely insane. But it's fun at the same time too, especially when you're dominating. When you're getting dominated and you're facing a team, especially if you're playing like TDM or you're playing Domination, Headquarters, uh, Hardpoint, some of those game modes, then uh, yeah, it can be frustrating if you're just constantly spawning and dying, spawning and dying, spawning and dying. It, it's like a hit or miss. Sometimes it plays good, sometimes it plays bad. But regardless of how you feel about the map, it definitely is in the game. And to be quite honest, I actually like it. I actually like that they added it to the game and what they did with it, making it like a holiday, Christmas type of vibe to it. So it's definitely welcome into Modern Warfare 2. To be honest with you guys, I have been grinding out, trying to max out all of these weapons because I haven't done that yet. I haven't even unlocked every single weapon yet. And I'm trying to do that as well as unlock all the attachments because man, I am so behind. I was gone. You know, I've been so busy touching grass and actually going on vacation. And you know, I was gone for a wedding as you guys know. So I have been very busy with the real life outside of gaming that I have been not able to unlock everything and max everything out as of yet. I haven't even gotten a chance to try to go for camos because I want to unlock all of my weapons and the attachments first before I can even do that. I mean, I guess I can do these challenges while I'm unlocking the weapons at the same time, but I wanna max out everything first, unlock everything first, and then I'll go back and try to do the rest of the things. The other dilemma that I have with Call of Duty is the fact that I can't hold my attention for that long. There comes a point where I get bored of Call of Duty and I can't play it for that many hours on end before I try to move on to something else. And that's another reason that I haven't completed everything much faster as well. And you know what? There are so many other games out there that will give you less of a headache than Call of Duty will because of, of course, skill-based matchmaking and some of these other issues that Call of Duty has. So, you know, I've been recently playing High on Life. That is a popular single-player game. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of that or at least have seen trailers or gameplays on TikTok or YouTube or wherever of, you know, the talking gun and the dialogue, you know, the creator of Rick and Morty um, has created that game and that's a lot of fun too and i do play other games i'm a true gamer i don't stick to just one game i play a plethora of games out there and i have a lot more fun um, having a stress-free gaming session where i don't have to worry about a sweat fest or a tournament style uh, game mode all the time with call of duty so i do play other games out there and i do a lot of other things other than just play one specific game so that also contributes to why i haven't completed all of these challenges and all of these attachments being unlocked and guns being unlocked in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. And who could blame me, honestly? Because there are so many other games that I would encourage all of you to play if you guys don't already um, versus just playing Call of Duty alone. I can't imagine just playing one game constantly all the time and not being bored of it. I just don't get it. For those of you guys who do play other games, what other games are you guys playing besides Call of Duty? I'm sure there are other games that you guys play, other single player games, other multiplayer games. Because again, like I said before, I can't imagine playing one game all the time and only playing that game. But do let me know what other games you are playing besides Modern Warfare 2 or Call of Duty in general down in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell to be notified every single time I upload video. Now with that being said, this is GCP signing off.